Those of you who have been here for a while know that I eat organ meat and bone marrow on a regular basis as a part of my nutritional program to make sure that I get the optimal nutrition in my diet so that way I can recover from my workouts and have an overall healing tonic in my body. But the thing is, Organic non-GMO grass-fed organ meat is not always available, so enter Ancestral Supplements. Ancestral Supplements only uses grass-fed non-GMO organic beef in order to give you the best possible nutrition with the least amount of toxins. And by using the link in the description, you get 10% off anything you order from the Ancestral Supplements website. Mountain. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and today I'm going to be doing a workout in the garage here. So I'm going to be starting with some standing shoulder presses and then I'll be moving on to some other body parts here. So as a standard practice, I do a few warm-up sets, uh, sometimes with lighter weight. I'm planning on just working with lighter weight today with the shoulder presses, but as a standard sort of practice, sometimes I'll be doing some internal and external rotation movements, you know, uh, stuff that's more ballistic or whatever, but really easy going, not too excessive. And that helps get blood to the shoulders. So today I'm going to do some uh, shoulder presses and I'll do some other stuff. But right now I'm doing some standing shoulder presses, so yeah, enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Bet you guys can't name that tune in the background. Nate, can you name the tune? Put it down in the comments. Ready for the cat hair gains? Let's go. Cat hair gains. Huh? Cat hair gains. Bet you didn't realize that cat hair really adds a lot to your training experience. I mean, the cat hair pump. I mean, every great bodybuilder knows what the cat hair pump is. I'm surprised if you guys don't know what that is, but it definitely plays a huge role in my training. So as you can see, I'm not locking out all the way. Now that's also because my grip is pretty wide. So some people, they, they say, hey, why don't you go all the way over the head? Why don't you lock out all the way to the top? Well, I find that I activate the neck too much when I do that, and I don't necessarily get the deep level of burn in my delts that I wanna get when I do that as well. So that's why you see that constant tension thing. See, see, there's my delts. There they are. Ooh, yeah, mount. That's not my bike. That's not my bike. I don't like that bike. That's somebody else's bike. It's not my bike. Seriously, it's not my bike. Tonight, during tonight's video, I'm wearing the mountain tank top. I'm wearing some, I'll step my chair here for you. Some fair play pants here, as you can see. Yeah, some fair play pants and the blue shoes, the blue Adidas. Hey, these are like, what are they? They're, they're like, these are like handball or racquetball shoes, eh? Sorry, blue, yeah, so there you go. You guys out there with fashion sense, you know, now you've been satisfied. Huh? See, don't, don't, don't say that I don't bring beauty to this channel, I'll tell you. So I know some people like to do a closer grip because they feel like they activate their front delts more so when they do that, but I've found that keeping my elbows out more is a more comfortable position for my body and it seems to access my front delts better. And anyway, I get a little bit of upper chest in that as well. And you can never get enough upper chest training as we know. So I don't really mind if I get uh, a little bit of upper chest training going on when I do my shoulder workout. So yeah, that's, that's why I do this constant tension sort of thing. So this is a weird workout for me though, because for the first time ever, I'm doing shoulder presses first before I train chest. And it's a... And in a surprising twist, I'm going to do some inclines now after doing shoulder press, which is totally messed up. Why would anybody do that to themselves? Why? Why would they even do that? It doesn't even make sense. But, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Bike. Yeah, okay, that's better. Alright, maybe yeah, there's no boat. 
Yeah, there's no bike. You know, I was gonna go to the furniture store. I was gonna go buy like a, like one of those bureaus, you know what I mean? And, and shelves and stuff like that with it. And you have a lot of different compartments to put camera equipment on or shirts or whatever, right? But I thought, why waste money on furniture? Like, why do you wanna waste money on furniture? Just, just build an upper chest, you know what I'm saying? I just place all my shit right on top of my chest and then I don't have to worry about buying any furniture, you know what I'm saying? So, just makes sense. It just makes good sense. Economically, physically. Well, hell, let, let's just add spiritually in there too. You know, everybody needs a chest shelf. You have a chest shelf, you got places to put your shit. You don't even need pockets. I can have an elf sit on this shelf, you know what I'm saying? Sit on this shelf. Ooh, yeah! So macho man would say about it. Ooh, <laughs> this feels like it's gonna be good. Can you feel that? Can you feel it right through the camera right now? Can you feel this shit? Can you? If you can't feel the shit, I just turn the video off. Man, Dolly Parton's gonna be jealous. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of biceps. Already did some biceps earlier today, but I'm gonna show you a pro tip, pro biceps tip. Maybe this tip's gonna show up in a different video. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it up and you're gonna like it. And if you don't like it, you're gonna end up where my shitty cameraman ended up. And all those trolls and stuff he helped me bury, I mean help me uh, give rides to where they wanted to go naturally. You know what I'm saying? I thought you did. I thought you did. So here I'm doing some just light dumbbell curls, light standing dumbbell curls. Now there's a reason why I'm keeping the arms bent and there's a reason why I'm doing these partial reps is just because I'm messing around with different ranges of motion to see which one is giving me the best bicep pump. And 
Sometimes I will do a pronated grip, meaning like a hammer curl, and I come all the way down and then all the way up. I'm noticing that will also hit a different part of the bicep and really hit failure as well. But depending on the hand position that I'm in will depend in what type of range of motion that I find is optimal in order for me to get that bicep to go to deep failure. Now, the reason why I'm using super lightweight is because I am keeping the arms totally bent and I'm dependent on the bicep brachii to stop the momentum. So this is actually dangerous if you're using super heavy weight, but at the same time, I find it's an extremely effective way to get that overall pump, burn, and fatigue. So it's exactly like that thing you've got going on with your girlfriend or your wife when you forget Valentine's Day. Constant tension. Constant. Yeah, what, what he said. So constant tension does play a huge role in muscle growth. And uh, in this case, I'm trying to make sure that constant tension is staying on the muscle I want to hit, which is the bicep brachii, right? So, of course, uh, everybody's got their own injury history and all that sort of thing. So because of me having the bicep tear and the dislocating shoulder and stuff, I notice that I have to be more aggressive in finding ways to keep that tension there. But it doesn't mean that I can't do it. So uh, this is my hybrid of a curl. This is the way I'm doing it. And I definitely get an awesome pump, awesome burn. And... In the end, it makes the training more fun to find creative ways in order to hit that muscle. So here I decided just to do some light one-legged squats in the garage. So yeah, I'm enjoying this just to get a good stretch. Now I'm starting off with the body weight because I'm as old as the mountain and I need to make sure there's proper blood flow to the hamstrings and the bum and the knees. But yeah, after I do that, I uh, get the blood going a little bit. I'll just do a couple body weight squats. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of uh, holding on to the bar to keep me more in a vertical position to stretch out those hip flexors. And uh, then, yeah, I'll just work right into the weight because this is super light for me anyway, right? So it's not like it's uh, super heavy weight or anything. Yeah, I find that one-legged squats are a great way in order for you to make sure that you're hitting each leg to failure. And yeah, sometimes balance can be an issue, but you get used to it after a while and you start to find your groove. This brings to mind another question that was asked once in a while is that do you have to have high intensity all the time? Well, the truth is you don't. I mean, sometimes you do the maintenance workouts or the workouts where you just go through the motions just to get the blood flowing, just to get the stretch happening. And I find that a lot of times these types of workouts are underestimated. They don't always have to be super intense or you don't have to always just kill yourself in order to build muscle. But I find just getting yourself under the weight, even if it's lightweight, can sometimes help in a healing process as much as it does in building muscle because you're constantly immersing your body into some sort of stimulation, right? And just by doing so, you'll find that your body gets acclimated to that type of stimulus, regardless of whether it's super intense or not. So yeah, you do need the intense workouts, but don't underestimate the ones where you're just going through the motion, getting the stretch and getting the blood flowing. thing about lunges or one-legged squats is that you don't have to use a lot of weight in order to get a really crippling burn in the area and also get a lot of muscle stimulation so like I said in another video sometimes it's not about the weight it's just about the movement and you can get away with using a lot of lightweight and still get an awesome workout
So thanks a lot for tuning into the workout. I uh, just did a little bit here tonight. I did, uh, well actually I did a lot. I was pretty damn productive, if I do say so myself. I hit the muscles hard, heavy, fast. I, I did everything, honestly. If there was a Chuck Norris of workouts, that's, that's what it was, right there. Not, not super high volume, I, I got it. But the intensity was there and I had the right attitude. If you have the right attitude, you can do anything. Sometimes you can do nothing and it's like you did something. It's all in the attitude. Mountain. So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglambodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Ooh, yeah!